Okay, this is Keith again, KC Design Concepts, Chief Engineer, High Motor Works. And here is the M1 Supercharger Kit on uh, E46 M3 with the S54 engine. Um, it's getting ready to go to the tuner in the next couple days. Get everything dialed in, but so far uh, it's running good. Everything's working as it should. Uh, it's definitely going to need larger injectors. I did a short little test drive with it just to make sure everything was uh, mechanically solid to go on the tuner. Um, that throttle cable, throttle body assembly is working perfectly. Uh, as you can see, no check engine light, there's no codes. Um, idling, uh, the air fuel ratio is holding up very well. Um, running around 19, 20 square inches of vacuum, which is normal. Temperature gets up there, the oil temperature does climb. As I uh, stated in the other videos, it has uh, an oil cooler inline thermostat installed so that the oil temperature will get up a little bit faster rather than pumping it straight through the oil cooler and keeping it ice cold. Has a hesitation on throttle. Uh, it goes extremely rich at first and then it starts to lean out, so yeah, it definitely needs some tuning. <coughs> but other than that, everything else is working good. Um, the electric fan um, has an adjustable fan controller. Which I believe I have it set about where it should be to come on. I've managed to keep the stock auxiliary cooling fan, so that still works the way it should. Turn the AC on, it comes on, if the engine temperature starts to climb a little high, with the, um, the primary electric fan running, um, the auxiliary fan will come on at least at a low speed. And other than that, you can see it runs good turned out really good. That's the air inlet I came up with. Goes down to the mass airflow sensor and then to a short piece of tubing, maybe three and a half inch, and into a tan and in air filter. Um, lightly oiled. I don't like to put too much oil on it because I can mess up the mass airflow sensor. It sucks in oil. Um, I'm still going to uh, do another smoke test just to make sure that there's no leaks after driving it. And figure out how to program that uh, boost gauge slash boost control solenoid. I don't really know how to do that yet. I gotta program that so you can control the boost. But yeah, it's got a tire pressure sensor out, so that's on. Other than that, uh, it starts and runs good. And there she is. Okay, everybody, take care, go well, and have a supercharged day.